Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss performance or design equation of batch reactor. So let's see what is the performance or design equation of a batch reactor. So the batch reactor consists of a vertical cylindrical vessel equipped with an agitator or stirrer for stirring the contents. It is also provided with either an external jacket or cooling coil or both for heating or cooling the reactor contents. In this reactor, the reactants are charged at the beginning into a container left to react for a certain time period in the reactor under certain agitation during which no material is fed or removed from it and the resultant product mixture is withdrawn at a subsequent time. Hence in the batch reactor, the extent of reaction that is the conversion, and properties such as temperature and composition change with time. But at any instant of time, the composition is uniform throughout the reactor zone. Then, the batch reactor operates under unsteady state conditions. Now let's see how to derive the performance equation for batch reactor. So let's take a first material balance of reactant A on a mole basis at any instant of time t. So we get flow rate of A into the reactor is equal to the flow rate of A out of the reactor plus rate of disappearance of by chemical reaction plus rate of accumulation of A within the reactor. Equation number one. So as we know, in batch reactor, no fluid enters or leaves the reactor during the course of the reaction. Hence, the flow rate of A into the reactor and the flow rate of A out of the reactor is equal to zero. Equation number two. Hence, material balance equation can be written as. Now let's calculate the rate of disappearance of A by chemical reaction. So, rate of disappearance of A by a chemical reaction in moles per unit time. In reaction volume, V is equal to minus R A into V. Now let's calculate rate of accumulation of A within the reactor. So, rate of accumulation of A within the reactor in moles per unit time is equal to D N A by D T. But as we know N A is equal to moles of A remained at T, which can be written as N A is equal to N A 0 into 1 minus X A. Hence the rate of accumulation can be written as after solving it we get. So after putting the rate of disappearance in rate of accumulation in equation number 3 we get. So after rearranging the terms we get. Now. Let's integrate this equation within the limit. At t is equal to 0. Xa is equal to 0. And at t is equal to t. Xa is equal to Xa. So we get. Hence, this equation is a general equation showing the time needed to achieve conversion. This equation also called as General Design or Performance Equation for Batch Reactor. So from this equation, we can say that Volume that is V and rate that is minus RA may changes as the reaction proceeds. Now let's derive this equation for constant volume or constant density system. So for constant volume, sp ln A is equal to 0. And V is constant which is equal to The general equation becomes. In this equation we can write. V0 out of the integration because it is constant. And as we know. N A 0 divided by V0 is equal to C A 0. Hence equation becomes. So this is the performance equation. For batch reactor for a constant volume of constant density system. Now for reaction. 
in which the volume of reaction changes proportionally with conversion or density changes such as gas phase reaction so hence v is not constant and v is equal to v0 into 1 plus epsilon a x a hence equation becomes so this is the performance equation for the batch reactor for the variable volume of constant density system. So that's all about Ho. Performance or design equation of batch reactor. In the next video, we will discuss another topic. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.